Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and today we're looking at the electrolyzer and how we can use that to supply oxygen for our base by building a ventilation system. In the early part of your game while you're playing Oxygen Not Included, the algae deoxidizer is an invaluable resource to help produce oxygen that supplies your base. It tends to be a little bit more efficient than the, uh, the algae terrarium that you unlock through the farming research. And it also tends to produce a, a gr much greater volume than what you can get through that system. But algae does start to become a, a bit of a rare resource, and if you run out of it, you need an alternative oxygen supply. That's where the electrolyzer really comes in handy. Now, the tricky part with the electrolyzer is that although it produces a lot of oxygen, it consumes water and, and produces hydrogen. The water doesn't seem to be as much of an issue with the new update that's coming out, the thermal update, because they seem to be supplying us with a lot more water. And I think that makes the electrolyzer even more valuable as a, as a mechanism for supplying oxygen in your base. What does become a challenge, though, is the hydrogen. You have to ensure that you manage that effectively. If you place the electrolyzers all around your base, you'll start to build up hydrogen in areas that you don't want it to be, and your duplicates will ultimately have a very difficult time breathing. You have a couple of options that you can approach this. You could create just a very large open space at the top of your base so that the hydrogen, which will rise above the oxygen, will begin to pool, and you can work with it from there. Or you can create a number of smaller rooms that will have a, a pump and electrolyzer in it that will help you uh, control the hydrogen that way. But I generally prefer to make a slightly larger room, so that's what we're going to demonstrate here. Start first by building a room somewhere in your base. It doesn't have to be located towards the top, although that, that tends to be my preference, uh, simply because I tend to keep my living quarters near the top also. But build a room that, uh, that's basically uh, sort of funnel-shaped, so that you have an area at the top where, as the hydrogen collects, it will tend to concentrate more towards the upper middle portion of this, uh, of this room. You're going to need a number of different pieces built in here in order to supply, uh, in order to control the, the movement of the hydrogen, but then also supply the oxygen. We'll start first by placing the electrolyzer at the bottom of the room. Now, the number of electrolyzers that you'll need will be very dependent on the size of your colony, uh, because the square footage that you're going to be working with will have a, a big impact on how much oxygen has to be dispersed throughout it. I'm going to start first with two electrolyzers and, uh, and work from there. You're also going to need, in the plumbing area, a gas pump that can be used to pump the oxygen out. Now, these pumps don't need to be located actually against a floor or anything. They can be placed anywhere in the room. Uh, you're going to need a second one of these pumps at the very top of the room that can handle the hydrogen. Because the electrolyzers produce hydrogen, we want to make sure that any any gases that are caught by this gas pump are uh, that we want to send out to the base for uh, for ventilation will ultimately be oxygen. So in order to control that, we're going to use the gas filter. And we'll place the gas filter in the room just above the gas pump. Now in the case of hydrogen, we want the gas to remain in the room, so we're going to use a small pipe with a gas vent so that when we filter out any hydrogen, it will remain in the room. The green port we want connected to the white output from the pump. And then the white output from the filter can run back down the ladder and we'll use that to head out for our ventilation. For the pump that's located at the top, we want this one to deal specifically with the hydrogen that's in the room. So we're going to set up a pump for this, or a filter for this also because we need the hydrogen to go somewhere else. This pump again, we're going to connect the white output from this pump into the green input of the filter. For the white output pipe, we're going to send it down and out through the wall, and over here is where we're ultimately going to locate our hydrogen generator that we'll be feeding with the hydrogen from, the, from this room. For the top filter, the gas we're going to be filtering out is oxygen to ensure that the only thing we're sending to our hydrogen generator is actually hydrogen. So this line we can send down and just connect to the oxygen output from the lower pump. Both pumps and both filters are going to require power. With the new update, I recommend using the heavy wire, uh, heavy watt wire because you, you can't be certain how much power you're going to be drawing at some point later. And while you can have this connected on a separate circuit, it just seems to make sense to ensure that you have a sufficient power supply. Lastly, the electrolyzers will need water, so we'll need to set up plumbing in order to send the water up to the electrolyzers. Once your plumbing is connected, your electrolyzers will turn on and start to produce oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen will float to the top of this particular room because it's lighter than, than the oxygen is, and that will collect up near the pump we placed at the top. Now for the, t the pump we placed at the top, I set it on its own separate power line so that both this filter and the pump are going to be connected to this switch so that if there's a low concentration of hydrogen, I don't necessarily want to be wasting power trying to pump the, uh, the hydrogen out of the room. I can flick the switch, the pump and the, and the filter will turn off, I'll allow the hydrogen to, to accumulate, and then ultimately I'll switch it off again. Or switch it back on again, rather. 
Now, the hydrogen that's pumped out of the room is going to leave through this line, and we're going to need to send it someplace in order for it to get, uh, get out of the room and ultimately be consumed. So if we go into our power, we have the option for a hydrogen generator. I'm going to place this initially here, and then we'll connect it with the heavy watt wire to the same circuit. The input gas coming from the pump is going to have to be connected into the hydrogen generator as well, so we'll use... I'm oh, sorry, we'll use a, a, liquid, or a gas pipe for that. And we'll make that connection. This will complete the circuit for the top portion. Uh, the top portion of the room. For the lower portion of the room, we need to complete uh, putting in a ventilation system so that we can pump the arrow to uh, the rest of the base. We're going to extend a small portion down here and we'll add in a gas vent. And that will allow the, the flow of air to come through and into the living area. Now this will this will split the flow in half. So half of the air will ultimately go in here and half will continue down the rest of this line. We're going to extend that over to the this other portion of the base. And then similarly we need to place a gas vent so that it has a place for the, the gas to, to leave the pipe. Without a gas vent or some sort of a machine or mechanism for the pump to be connected to, you'll find that the pump simply won't turn on. So if you find that you have this connected and you're not getting the pump to go at all and it it's clearly has power, then it's most likely a case of your, your uh, ventilation piping is not connected to anything. Our gas filters would need to have a selection made in order to filter out the gas. The lower, the, the lower filter you want to set to hydrogen. So what it will do will stri is strip hydrogen out of the pipe and send it out through the small gas vent so it stays in the room. The upper one will set to oxygen because we want the oxygen to leave the room and, and go out through the ventilation system into the rest of the base, and we want the hydrogen to flow through into our hydrogen generator. All right, our pump is running with our electrolyzers now, so if we look at the, the gas overlay, you can see it sending through the pipes, and then it's heading out into the two different areas of, the, of my colony. Now, this uh, ventilation line can be extended out into other places. I could, I could make another branch of it going down lower to send more oxygen to the lower portion of my colony, but what I'll do is ultimately use some, semi, some gas permeable flooring so that the oxygen will accumulate in the living area around the plants and around their living quarters and then press downward through the, uh, through the, the permeable tile to fill in the lower portion of the base as well. When we decide that we have enough gas collected in the top portion that we want to ultimately pump that out, it's a simple matter of hitting the switch and turning it on. The power supply will be an opportunity. It's going to be very important to try to make sure that you build up sufficient concentrations of hydrogen before you start trying to pump it out of the room. Otherwise, the pump won't run with any real consistency and you're probably wasting power. The hydrogen generator will also need to be managed in terms of heat. In the thermal update, the heat is a really big factor on the operation of your colony. So you'll need to make sure that you have this set up appropriately. You can do a simple, as simple a matter as putting an insulated floor in the lower portion and then trying to control the upper uh, by dripping water or having a, a small skim of water along the floor that will help uh, offset the heat from the hydrogen generator. But as it turns out, the way this, this generator is placed relative to my base, I'm not as concerned because the heat will have plenty of space to dissipate in the upper area of the, of the room. This oxygen supply system should be sufficient to run you through a, a significant portion of the game. Uh, but again, depending on the size of your colony, you may need to want to have more of these rooms and or be using more electrolyzers in order to ensure that you're producing enough oxygen. But I hope this comes in useful for your base and you can use it to, to help replace your algae consumption and keep your, your colony well oxygenated. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.